here at Atlanta Comic Con with Roger Bumpus. Hi. The uh, inaugural Atlanta Comic Con. How does it feel to be one of the first guests to be here uh, ever at Atlanta Comic Con? I am the very first one, and I'm the very first guest to walk all the way with my stuff from the hotel to here because they didn't bring a car for me. So I'm really number one. What does it say about uh, SpongeBob to have a maintained popularity for so long? You know, things kind of ebb and flow. You have shows like Transformers cartoon. It kind of comes and goes. And then when I get older, I, they introduce it to my kids and it becomes a new thing. SpongeBob has been steady for a long time. What does it say about it? I've always compared SpongeBob to Looney Tunes and uh, not, not just to flatter ourselves, but because we're both short cartoons, not half hours. But the main thing is funny is funny. Um, every part of Looney Tunes cartoon and our cartoon, a little kid gets something from, an older kid gets something, and the adults get something. So there's no age limit for our, our particular show. And as long as we continue to, to be funny, we will continue to, to, to have this legacy, which is so wonderful. So many fans come see you, and you mentioned the age thing. And I look down here, and I see a lot of you veteran voice guys. And then there's this young kid over here, Jeremy, who's uh, from Adventure Time. What do you say to the young voice actors that are getting started as far as uh, how they get their career moving? And what advice do you have as one of the old timers? I always tell them I have socks older than them. I have fresh bagels older than them. But I say, you know, stick with it. It's worth it. You can see all the oldies down here are drinking their Geritol and still doing voices. So, uh, you know, keep at it. We can last a long time if you get the right project. Us radio guys kind of, I think, deep down envy you guys because we all think maybe we could do it. I got voices in my head all the time. They're always rattling around. Uh, you started, you have a radio career, and you did some behind-the-scenes stuff before you got started. How has that affected your career overall? Yeah, I started out in broadcasting in, uh, in a small backwater uh, TV station in Arkansas where I went to college and had a late-night comedy show called Kumquat Theater. And uh, it was, wasn't very, very funny at all. But, it, but it, it taught me, you know, how to, to, to do the video and do the audio characters and stuff, which I eventually gravitated towards in my real life. But I kept all the broadcast stuff on my tool belt, so I can still do that. So this, there's not too much difference in what we do. Not at all. To the uh, fans out there coming to conventions to come see you, what would Squidward say to them about coming to see you? I'm so happy you're here and that SpongeBob is not. That's $25, please. <laughs>